Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing well. Um, just a quick uh, video of the finds I just got in the past um, three to four days maybe. All right. Um, but uh, I know I haven't done this in a while, but thank you to all uh, my subscribers. Really do appreciate everybody um, for subscribing watching my videos uh giving me a thumbs up and of course for all your comments i appreciate everyone's comments um you give me some input i like the little conversations we have going back and forth um that always just helps get inf information from what i'm doing what i'm showing um tells me what you're finding um compared to what i am so always appreciate it guys all right so thank you everybody um i did find a couple of the uh, mystery models um i did find the number four which is the bone shaker i forget i gotta show with my left hand yeah pretty cool if i when i get the wheels i'll probably do a wheel swap on it and that went down and I believe this was the number eight, the fish fished and dip. Very colorful car here. Pretty cool. All right. Um, I did pick up the Walgreens exclusive of the Mercury Comet. I think last time I had only found the um, the Ford Bronco and the Land Cruiser. I had those two. Um, I've seen the the Honda and the Silverado, but mm, not really interested in those. And these I don't always just collect the whole set. I just collect what I like in these. But eventually I open them up, you know. Um, also, I did find the. Fast and Furious Pow the Ford Grand Torino. I know we've seen this model many times in the five packs and stuff, and um, I actually did a wheel swap on one of them. Um, but that's just awesome. The color, the stripe, the the wheels on this. So I might just open these up anyway, and I'll put them on on a video at the end. On the table and of course the Ford Mustang been seeing everybody showing this one and it's definitely a hot looking Mustang right there I like that they were able to do a red interior even though the bottoms metal I wish they would have done that with the Gran Torino put in a different color but they did a chrome which which I would probably have to open it up and paint it if I'm gonna if I do the wheel swap I'm gonna end up oh no no wheel swaps on that might just end up staying that way <laughs> not I would have painted it white like I did the other ones um but let's see what else did I find um oh the I found the two of the stars and stripes that I wanted to open now I haven't done a wheel swap yet I just chromed the wheels out on this okay so here's the Mustang. And these really cool. And here's the Camaro. Awesome looking. So yeah, I just chromed out the, the rims there. It looks pretty good. I like it like that anyway. I don't have wheels for it yet. But we'll see. But at the end, along with uh, putting those cards on the turntable, I'm going to run these on the track. So I'll put a couple of clips in the back in the end and race them. All right. Now, my last video, I had showed the uh, Maestro, the Grand National, the Buick, and... Uh, 
I had showed it to that cash clown and he said hey let's do another trade I said, sure definitely it's finished so I'm gonna show it to you guys so diecast clown if you're watching you don't want to see it yet close your eyes <laughs> but I'm gonna show it to you guys all right and here it is now I'm gonna use my little handy dandy flashlight wand that I found, yeah, I found it in the middle of the road and it was lit up. All right, let's see if we can, I'm gonna show you the interior. I did to the interior on there. Now, you know, my store doesn't come with an interior and it comes out with blacked out windows all the way around. So I cut the windows, passenger windows out. Okay, let's get a little close shot there. And I put a clear windshield in the front. And I left, I did leave the tinted or blacked out in the rear. I love this little flashlight wand. Comes in really handy. How's that? There you go. Here's the front. Alrighty, so that will be that will be uh, boxed up and sent out to its rightful owner. Um, if you got any questions, put them down below in the comment. Uh, but I think it came out really, really cool. And yes, it is, of course, a roller. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> and let's sit with my showings. And now, um, some prayers and well wishes, guys. Tomorrow morning, I'm going under the knife. Actually, yeah, right here on my neck, over here. Don't know if many of you have noticed, which if you observe it, yeah, I got a lump under my neck. It's been checked out. <laughs> It is a, uh, what they say, it's fatty tissue. <clears throat> um, so, doctor said it's best to get it out because I do feel, it doesn't, I'm not in pain, okay, but every now and then I do feel like something's there. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, hoping that takes care of all the, this is my, my throat issues. Um, but yeah, that will be tomorrow morning, Friday morning. I will be um, doing a surgery, I think it, maybe a couple of hours with the recovery and all that stuff so um yeah guys just wish me the best that i can uh, come back <laughs> and uh, make it out of there and uh you know it's a very simple procedure uh but you know you do go to sleep and uh it is in this area but no worries guys um, we all know when it's time is time, but I don't feel it's time yet. And I pray it's not time. Um, anyways, on a good note, guys. Uh, yeah, just some well wishes and prayers, guys. All right. So we'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. Um, be good to one another. All right. And um, we'll see you guys again on another video. All right. Later, guys.
All right, here we go. First race. Mustang against the wall. Camaro on the outside. And the Mustang took that race. Let's do the Camaro against the wall and the Mustang on the outside. And there you have it, the Mustang takes it. Thanks for watching guys.